Cal Fire taking rescue training to new heights. Crews are stepping into a virtual world using augmented reality to prepare for emergencies. Looks pretty cool. Your reporter Brittany Halbleib was invited out to McClellan Air Base to see how it works. He joins us live in studio with more Brady. Yeah, this was a pretty fun story, guys, and uh, this could potentially save lives as well. This new simulator lets Cal Fire crews train for dangerous situations without any risk, and it's a hands on practice all from the safety of a small room at McClellan. Inside of this small room, a big idea is taking flight. Cal Fire's flight crews are stepping into a new reality, an augmented one. And it did feel very realistic. The, the quality of the imagery is all very good quality stuff. This high tech helicopter and hoist simulator isn't just a piece of equipment. It's giving crews the chance to train for real life emergencies without the risk of life. It gives us that opportunity to think through the stuff that we talk about a lot, but we can't actually do. This gives us the ability to do a lot of those things. It resembles a game with challenges. Inside of the goggles, crews see landscapes, mountains and valleys and lakes. And just like the real world, the wind plays a factor, pushing and pulling the hoisting cable. Kind of show the aircraft what it's doing and some of the influences that the aircraft can have and the weather and the wind um, on that cable and, and on our scenario. So it's a really good realistic tool for us to work with. Right now, the helicopter sim and hoist sim work apart, but soon they'll be linked together. So the pilots and the hoist crews will work together as one. Adds to a value for our new pilots and our current pilots mm -hmm. to um, train on hoisting. Battalion Chief Aaron Smith says this won't replace real life training, but it will be another tool to sharpen their skills. We'll feel better prepared now that we have this. This simulation is the only one in the state and with 11 Cal Fire bases with over 300 crew members statewide, teams will now have the opportunity to train at McClellan where technology meets preparation. No matter what their experience level is, when they get a train on this, it's going to make them better. Not only will this help crews prepare, but it'll also help cut down on time and money. They won't have to gas up and get in their helicopters to fly to train somewhere, which will also help cut down on a carbon footprint as well, guys. Wow, every time I see one of those rescues, I, I look and see how delicate and how precise they have to be mm -hmm. in lifting someone without hurting them. And and it takes hours for these guys to be able to go in these plane or these helicopters, do this training, but here they can just do it in the afternoon, yeah. really. Yeah. It's awesome to see. Fascinating Thank you, look. Yeah. Thanks, Brad.